Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and I am so excited to start this new series of anatomy videos in partnership with 3D4 Medical, who is the creator of this iPad app that you're watching on the screen called Essentials Anatomy. And what this allows me to do is get a three-dimensional view of the human body and all of the anatom anatomical structures, looking at the muscles. So here I can add some muscles and I can um, zoom in on one muscle and get all of the information about that muscle, about the origins and the insertions, actions, um, innervation, blood supply, all that fun stuff. Um, I can peel away some of those muscles and I can get the nerves. I can look at the, the veins. There's a lot that I can do uh, with this app. If you want to find out more about them, you can head on over to 3d4medical.com. So in this video, what I'm basically going to be doing is looking at the blood supply to the upper extremities. We're going to look at the main arteries that are going to the upper extremities. And in order to do that, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to remove the manubrium and the left clavicle so that we can get a good view of the major arteries as they are coming off of the arch of the aorta. All right. So. When I look at the arch of the aorta, this is what I'm going to see. I'm going to see on the left side, um, well, first I'm going to see that we have three major arteries coming off. On the left side, we're going to have our left subclavian artery, which is the one that I'm coloring in green right now. We're going to have our left common carotid. And then on the right side, we're going to have our brachiocephalic trunk, or you can call that the innominate artery. And that is then going to branch into our right common carotid and our right subclavian. So there's one main difference that you want to pay attention to there. On the left side, the subclavian and the common carotid are coming directly off of the arch of the aorta. On the right side, we have the brachiocephalic trunk, which is then branching into the right common carotid and the right uh, subclavian artery. Okay. So that's as it's coming off of the arch of the aorta. Now, we're going to look on the right side and pay attention to those the, the major arteries as they're going to the upper extremities. Now, we mentioned the subclavian. Here we have the right subclavian artery. And what's going to happen is as that artery passes different landmarks and goes into different regions, it's going to change name change names. So the first landmark you want to pay attention to is the first rib. As we pass the lateral border of the first rib, it's going to change from our subclavian artery to our axillary artery. And the axillary artery is in the region of the armpit. The word axilla means armpit. So that axillary artery is going to continue on from the lateral border of the first rib to the lower border of the muscle teres major. So I'm going to add some muscles in here for you to see exactly what I am talking about. Uh, right here, we see this muscle that is highlighted. That muscle is teres major. And as we pass the lower border of teres major, we're going to change from axillary artery to the brachial artery. Okay, so, so far we have our subclavian artery. Then we have our axillary artery. Let's, all right, our axillary artery as we pass the lateral border of the first rib. And then as we pass the lower border of teres major, we are going to get our brachial artery. Let's select that. Here you go, the brachial artery. I'm going to remove the muscles again because we don't need those for now. And we're going to continue on. Just to mention really quick, I'm skipping out a bunch of branches. And we're going to get into those branches that are coming off of these major arteries in later videos. But for now, let's continue on down to go into the region of the forearm. So the brachial artery is going through the arm. And that's going to be the main blood supply for the arm muscle. Br arm muscles. A brachial refers to arm. 
Um, and now we're going into the region of the forearm. And as we enter into the region of the forearm, we're going to see that that brachial artery is going to give off a lateral branch and a medial branch. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here, and you'll be able to see that the lateral branch is our radial artery, and then the medial branch is our ulnar artery. So that those are the main blood supplies of the forearm. I'm going to zoom back out here. And basically, that's all I want to go over in this video. So just to review, in review what we've looked at so far, uh, we started with our subclavian artery, which is this artery right here. Uh, then we changed into the region of the armpit, which was our axillary artery. And then as we went into the arm, we have our brachial artery. And then as we go into our forearm, we have our radial and ulnar arteries. So those are the main arteries going to the upper extremities. In later videos, we're going to break it down even further and look at the branches that are coming off of those main arteries. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This, once again, is in partnership with 3D4Medical.com that makes this app and a number of others. Um, if you are enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe if you're on YouTube. Make sure to like it. Share it with your friends. If they need to learn some of these anatomical lessons, share it with them. And of course, come back to the website at interactive-biology.com for more biology videos like this and other resources to help make biology fun. That's it for this episode, and I'll see you in the next one.